time has come, you guys. I am breaking my 30 day, well technically 30 days and 10 hour fast. I'm so excited, so this is how I'm gonna break my fast. In total, as of now, I've lost 16 pounds and I'm just going to read you guys my measurements. Ugh, I have this huge watermelon and we are just gonna dive right in. I, I can't even record it with you guys. That's how like eager. I've been waiting for this day for so long. Oh, I hope it's sweet. I really do. Cause Lord knows. Lord knows I need it to be sweet. This is my first meal, guys, in 30 days and 10 hours. It's like heavenly, even just looking at it. Okay, we're going in. Oh my God. Oh. Um. Like this, oh my God, I cannot believe I'm crying. <sighs> like I literally can't believe I did this <laughs> Oh my God, I feel like a weirdo. <laughs> like I knew I really wanted to do it and I knew I was capable. And it's been such a beautiful, <laughs> a beautiful fact. I'm not sad crying, I'm happy y'all. I'm very happy. But wow. I really did it, y'all. I really, I can't get it together, oh my God. Okay, I'm a Scorpio, y'all, I'm sorry. This was definitely an up and down journey, like doing this fast and it was so beautiful in so many ways and very challenging and very mental and like, I guess it just hit me. Um, but y'all, this watermelon is so good. I feel like I could eat this all day. I'm sorry, I'm stuck with my mouth open, but wow. Wow, wow, wow. I have to cut this in chunks. I have to just be able to, to eat this quick. I just... Oh my God. Oh. Mm -mm. Mm. Wow. I don't even have words right now. Mm. It's like every taste, it gets better and better and better. Like my taste buds, my senses are so strong right now. And this just honestly tastes like the sweetest watermelon ever. And looking at it, I know it's not as sweet as it could have been. Mm. But it's so satisfying. Mm, 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 mm. I'm happy. Mm, 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 mm. I'm so happy right now, guys. Oh my God. I fasted for 30 freaking days and I am eating watermelon. And it tastes amazing. <laughs> wow. I have three more pieces. Obviously they're seeded. I don't do the seedless fruit, y'all. You just don't really realize the importance of food until like you don't have it. And honestly, I feel like this fast really, it humbled me because there's people out here that don't have food. And here we are, Western civilizations, and we take so much for granted. Like I, 
He grew up with my father who was born and raised in Jamaica. So growing up, he was always like, don't let your eyes be bigger than your stomach. So for me, when I put something on my plate, I'm eating it. Even if I'm full, I'm eating that full thing because there's somebody there, there's somebody somewhere who doesn't have that luxury. And I just feel some type of way when like people put all this stuff on their plate and then throw it away. It's like, that could be one, leftovers. And then two, like no, like there's too many people hungry. I don't believe in wasting food. I will stuff myself before you see me throw away a plate of food or half a plate of food. I'm not doing it. Mm -mm. Being without food for these 30 days really taught me how blessed we are to have these things. So I'm going to cut up all this watermelon and I'm going to actually show you guys what I eat for the rest of the day. Um, yeah, so cool. So you guys, I was so eager to eat. I didn't even take out my cutting board. So this is literally, this is literally my massacre of a breakfast <laughs> in the morning. So I had, as you can see, probably about five good slices, cause this one is pretty big. Five good slices of watermelon and I am stuffed. So I just finished giving my gratitudes and, you know, giving God is his glory, giving my ancestors and spiritual guides thank yous for leading me where I am today, thanking them for getting me through this fast. <sighs> the amount of watermelon that I have had, I feel like I got the itis. <laughs> I don't know why I feel like that, but I'm just gonna go chill for a bit on my couch. Just very thankful I finished. I'm just so thankful. <laughs> oh. You guys, I had like maybe a third of that big ass watermelon already. Like people think I'm not about to eat, but like I eat. I was waiting for this moment, okay? So I'm about to consume this as I go sit on the couch. I have this bowl full of watermelon. <laughs> Literally, this is all I have left of the watermelon. I play no games, I eat my food, guys, I eat. So you guys, I played my first song that was not Crystal Bowls or those three Janae songs I told you guys about. I've played like my third favorite song in life and that is Today Was A Good Day. That's my song, okay? And it was very fitting because today is a beautiful day. <laughs> I ate a lot of watermelon so I'm actually kind of flustered and tired. So I'm gonna just lay out on my couch for a while and just like relax. I might even take a nap, it's about to be 11 o'clock. I have to leave my house at two. So I think I might do that since I woke up super early today. I'm just so excited. I never finished my bowl of watermelon, but I'm gonna bring it on the couch with me and see what happens. I'll see y'all later. All right guys, so I had a nice nap. It is now 1.17. I took like a 40 minute nap and I just opened my watermelon. So I'm going to be having some more of that. I haven't been drinking that much water. I think so far I've probably had eight ounces today. I'm gonna try to play catch up. No watermelon is mostly water. I still wanna make sure I'm getting just my solid water without any sugars or anything added into it. Um, but earlier I was extremely tired, so I gave my body a break. I'm guessing it was, you know, probably the rush of sugar from the watermelon. I'm gonna head to Trader Joe's right now and get some salad stuff. I haven't decided if I'm going to have a salad or not. I'm gonna play it by ear, but I'm going to try to start incorporating some other very easy digestible fruits and vegetables. Um, vegetables are usually much harder, so I haven't decided if I'm just gonna stay with just fruits today, 
but we'll see. But I am about to go to Traders and get my lashes filled because Okay, <laughs> I feel much better after my nap. I did get really tired. Oh, my digestive system, baby kicked in. She kicked in like an hour and a half after I first started eating watermelon. So that was great. We have no like, I know some people were like, oh, I was constipated the moment I started eating. Like my body is like, okay, girl, we see you. We ready to, so. It's been an easy transition with that. I've already had two bowel movements. <laughs> so I'm gonna go pick up another watermelon from Sprouts. Yeah, I got nothing else for you right now. I'm just breezing through, breezing through. I'm happy, I'm happy I'm eating, y'all. <laughs> All right guys, so it's like 2.30 now and a, a couple of days ago I cut up some coconut meat that was a little bit firmer than young coconut meat usually is. I love firm coconut meat, so as you can see, it doesn't like, it has like, it has bite to it when it's like this. So I've decided I'm going to just have some pieces of coconuts. It is 2.30 right now, and this will be my light lunch because I need a little bit more fiber because I'm going to the bathroom pretty frequently and I need it to bulk. Okay, I know that's TMI, but hey, if you're fasting, this is a part of it. So I'm gonna show you what I'm about to eat. So not the prettiest meal per se, but I have some coconut and an organic banana. The banana is not one of those huge ones, it's just a regular size banana, but if you can get your hands on some baby bananas, it's even better. But yep, this is going to be my lunch with some water, of course. This banana. It's like eating candy to me right now. It is so sweet. I don't ever remember bananas tasting so good. And it's like a firm one too, like it's ripe, but it's like not mushy. Bruh. The coconut is perfect. I think the biggest thing post fast is making sure that you chew everything slowly, very fine, so that you don't get constipated or nothing like that. Mm -mm -mm. I am happy. All right, you guys, so it is dinner time and I could not help myself. I wanted a salad so bad, so I just finished making this one. Okay, I know the lighting's not perfect, the sun is going down, but in this lovely bowl of mine, I have arugula, three Persian cucumbers, uh, about 10 cherry tomatoes, dried cherries, uh, criminy mushrooms, about five of them. I have like three bell peppers, mini bell peppers. I have cilantro, like a whole bunch of cilantro in there. Um, I have some onions. I have about half of a white onion. I put about three tablespoons of hemp seeds because those are really good to take when you're hopping off a of fast. Um, I believe that's everything. As far as seasoning, I use dried basil, oregano, um, some kelp granules. I drizzled a little bit of tahini on it. I know you're not really supposed to have nuts like the first day, but I just did just a little bit. I'm gonna top it with some avocado. Um, I put a, a dash of allspice and onion powder, and that's pretty much it. Oh, and I put like four stalks of scallion, which is green onions, and that's about it. So I'm about to serve my plate. First, I need to give it a good mix. It smells so good. I'm so excited. I know the lighting is not the best with the sun going down, but this is my plate. I have two avocados on top. I did go ahead and add some green olives as well. And you guys, I am about to scarf this salad down. Like I've been craving this. I did drizzle with just a little bit of olive oil. 
I'm going to attempt to eat this salad without any salt. That's why I put the the that's why I put the kelp granules um, because you know right after a fast, like you don't really crave salt. So I'm just trying to kind of ease back into that. But I'm so excited to eat, you guys. So this is pretty much going to be my last meal. I decided if I get hungry again, I will snack on some watermelon, but. My tummy has been perfectly fine. I have not been constipated or anything. I think it's about like slowly introducing stuff. And honestly, I feel like the big bulk of watermelon definitely helped get my digestive system kind of going and churning again. I believe that I'm gonna save all of like the heavier set meals kind of towards the end of the day so I could just gauge how my body feels. Look at this amazingness. I can't wait till I could eat like nuts again because I will be adding some Brazil nuts or walnuts but I had to put the tahini I was just craving some type of nut so at least that one should be a little bit easier to digest but this is like unreal it's like my taste buds are like pew 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 oh my goodness wow it really resets your palate when you fast because there's no salt, no nothing on this salad. And it's like the best thing I've ever tasted in my life. Whew. Okay. All right. Yeah. This is day one post fast. Like, yes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it's helpful for you guys. Leave any comments below if you have any questions about my fast or about my post fast. I would love to hear it. Of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, share it with all your friends, and I am so here and so ready and so happy for any of you who are gonna venture on a health or spiritual journey by fasting. Your body loves it, and yeah. Your girl did a 30-day fast. <laughs> all right, bye guys.